just in a 10 minute rapid arena obviously we don't do these things to try and win these things just in here just to see what the calibre of play is like we already know that it's high um, even from the low rated players it's high they've got that competitive streak going on but let's see if we can go with, with basics um, I'm tempted to come here but I'm just going to go here with the bishop and castle it is a 10 minute game and as usual just go for this I mentioned that there's a few little tiny things that have been have come out of the evaluation and I'm looking to try and address them in this next mini series of uh, games I'll highlight them if they crop up and suppose in a way it has cropped up that's why it's re it reminded me and it's one of those cases where when I do the usual yeah so I'll go yeah I like doing this because it attacks the knight then the knight comes in, the, sorry attacks the bishop and the knight comes there type thing and we say we're, we're comfortable with that position like I'm going to take this bishop now because I'm comfortable with that position if I look back on games that I have played like that where I felt comfortable and then I've ended up being disadvantaged uh, because I felt comfortable or even right the way up to where it became a disadvantage I felt comfortable I've got to address that tiny situation and say yes we are happy with doing that but is it really the best one we've tried and tested we do like to get this bishop out of the way if it's there you know i think that might have been an error because they're going to be doubling one of their pawns probably bringing this one into the center here might look to open there but in any case it's doubling a pawn structure for the opponent so it seems to be more of a positive than a negative it's not actually taken and just jumped in attacking our knight the knight's protected the bishop's protected and the pawn's protected so we could move the bishop out of the way but is it going to get trapped do we need to be concerned with that because we've actually basically we're a minor piece up because of that so it's the smallest of detail in terms of looking at well what i think is usual and really is that usual really benefiting me or am I being usual all the way to actually getting a loss I'm going to attack the knight if the knight does take then the pawn can take and the pawn is on the bishop so they're moving really good and quick you know like they've got it sewn up so I'm actually going to just attack the bishop take the double pawn structure away now the king is home alone so we should really be trying to make inroads towards there be as obvious as I need to be I think okay so the king's come down protecting let's just blast a few of these pawns up again not losing much sleep over that aspect and that's what I've got to question myself I'm not losing much sleep over that aspect well why not <laughs> um, he does have space for his queen coming around here he's got his rooks that can come down but uh, we do have a bishop that really isn't doing anything at the minute is it if we push and try and lean here and try and lean there don't want to overthink that because the structure uh, one of them will fall We're trying to use the power base of the white square bishop that we've got if they forget themselves we get a fork here so it's coming down for the bishop no not really but if we open up the bishop then at least it's doing something potentially let's just put a check on the king if we bring the rook across here then we can look to touch the queen and then make inroads towards here maybe then getting the queen across so 
I'm going to bring the rug up, attacking the queen. Doesn't have very many places to go, so I think it's just going to be sat there. But it's kind of stopping our queen from getting to where we want to be. Which is a bit of a shame. So we could attack it again, but I think I'm going to bring the rook here and then look to challenge. Washing machine's going crazy. Hey, got to wash the clothes. And it, oh, that's a nice move, isn't it? Damn, that's a nice move. Preventing the rook from coming there because of his uh, pawn. Um, after two shoe, rook takes the pawn, pawn takes, rook takes, no, no. Uh, there's no scope for any of this because he's just going to take the pawn. Scope for bringing the queen here, maybe then the rook can come across. Try and keep some pressure on. really going for it, he's stopping all of this type of stuff going on but doing that do they actually weaken their position in terms of the king uh, do, 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 do. where was our queen that was over there yeah okay so if we move here now <coughs> let's come here come around here to go here but then he's going to get our bishop isn't it with his queen but we've got bigger fish to fry haven't we so if we go here I think this is coming here because he's going to want this with his rook Queen's escaping, it's blocked, She's, they, they know where we're wanting to go. Every move they've made, they've just blocked it off. Oh, how annoying is that? Every move. If we move the rook down, then the bishop's managing this square, get this up here. Let's move the rook down. It's got a fork actually, but he's not going for the fork. Let's go with the queen. I wonder how good that fork would have been. It's a bit of a disturbance, wasn't it? I think that might have been an might have been a winner. So he circumvented the big attack towards the king area. So sadly, my queen is no longer in the game. Okay, so just swinging here, attacking a piece that's undefended at the moment. I'm not ignoring these coming down, but they do look like they can look after themselves, I think. No, I'll say that confidently. They can look after themselves. Uh, rook supporting. Has it landed on the bishop? No. Okay. Let's take... Take with a check. Do we go and get one of his rooks off or do we have some sort of... Oh, okay, they've resigned. Okay, we're back in again. Let's make sure that we're recording. Something happening to my recording. Uh, okay, so... Screen's going very slow. So we usually like coming here and we have taken losses doing this type of opening as well so I need to really rinse it out at the moment where you know it, it can get more advantageous for the opponent 
even though I feel comfortable in the move. I've got to just look at it. I'm going to grab because this is pretty straightforward. Oh, it's going for simplification, so this part looks fairly okay. Oh, the bishop's coming here, but then we'll just take it off the board with the queen. So we'll continue with the bishop attacking the weak square. Unless, of course, his queen's coming here. So the rook has been given up. Is it for free? I'm falling for some sort of funky trap thing. I mean, we can take the rook, and I suppose the queen can come here. But we have grabbed a higher piece. Well, a high-ranking piece. So if the queen wants to come here, gladly take. Blocking us in. Oh, nice touch. There's a blocker. Dude, my queen's trapped. Oh no, am I going to suffer some sort of situation? Um, I'm going to bring the bishop here. Bishop can't actually come out and take. Gonna have to move his king either to here or to here. The queen's come to protect. So we've already taken a rook off the board. Um, I, we're in a bit of a precarious um, position. I don't want him to get lively with the bishop, then get his rook across here, facing us off. So we may as well just take the bishop off and then take his queen off the board I don't want to be greedy don't want to be greedy oh no I've got a knight though <gasps> dude I've got a free knight what do we do shall we take the knight or take the queen <gasps> it's a free piece let's take the knight I don't think this is one of those situations where I'm going to rule the day I didn't take the queen we do have a two on one here. Has it given us? Oh no, they've resigned too. Okay, so we're on. It's a 1500 ish type thing. Just bring this out, protecting the pawn, developing the knight. Let's take. I don't think I've had too much problems with pushing the pawn here, the knight takes, pawn takes situation. So I'll continue as with that. Just take. opportunity to double the pawns I don't think it can be sniffed at can it let's keep it simple unprotected piece again keeping it simple Okay, so this is the only open file, so maybe we meet, need to make inroads into owning this file, keeping it simple. So let's have a look at what they're coming for. They're coming for the bishop, trapping down the bishop, because the bishop, well, can come back. So this is probably their stronghold, this position here, actually. So I'm actually going to push up onto the pawn. I'm going to take and take with do you know how I really want to take with this one but I feel that they're just going to come down they'll own these, these pawns in the corner but I want, <coughs> the reason why I want to keep this rook here is because I want to be able to take this pawn off when he takes S 
so I think if we take with this we take with this and then we, we have our own sites of attacking here if they're going to come down here and attack here okay that seems fair to me okay right oh, oh I can't go there now if I want to go with the bishop what can protect this let's go he's on a dark square so we may as well yeah just keep this diagonal and attack the pawn oh you see he's got a pawn here we could move this up bishop then comes and attacks the rook rook then takes the pawn anyway or if we push up his rook comes and defends the pawn his rook's too far highly elevated up the board so I think I'm just going to take this pawn and if he takes then we're on his pawn which is on a dark square so the bishop can't come back and defend it so we get another pawn but before we go running it does make sense to be able to attack this pawn we are, are on a dark square his bishop can't get it like I said he's probably going to look to own this file we were worried that he's going to get these pawns here We're attempting to come here, but then you can obviously see one of the rooks pinning to the um, our rook, so that doesn't make any sense. Opponent may have left the gate. No, they've come back again. They're coming back with the super juice. Uh, rook's protecting the pawn, so we could bring this rook up here now. Um, but then, obviously, bishop <coughs> bishop comes to protect. And if we push, and then we can get our bishop in there as well, maybe. Okay, let's just bring the rook up. Bishop comes back. Doesn't. So our bishop can take the pawn here, or the rook can take. It's just that we can't take because his bishop is there. And he's got a funky back rank looking position as well on us. So if we did take then he comes down with a check on the king then if we did that his rook takes our bishop for free move up because he's got the check on and then his rook will probably have to go back again because we would be just taking his rook off the board but he will have no mind you hold on what am I doing because he would have taken our I don't think that's the way to go dude maybe taking because then the bishop's out of the way it's not blocking the king and then if maybe he's not going to come down if he does any of that then we come here so that, I don't think he's going to do that I think if we take he's then going to come here because he's defending the pawn as well as attacking the bishop so then we come and attack the bishop That's when he could come down, put a check on the king. I think the king's fairly safe, so I'm going to go with that. I think that must have been a four move, was it? Or was it three? One, two. He has come down, I know. Okay, let's go here.
probably goes back up again realising that he's coming still protecting the pawn but attacking the bishop at the same time oh no he's coming for the pawn he's greedy munching he's greedy munching ok let's just take this pawn double up on his rook and take so he takes the pawn there's not much weight there is there <laughs> yeah, he came back with the supers, didn't he? Went offline, got the old magic juice, and now he's uh, kicking it in. Let's go here. Can tell by the the, the confident manner now in which they're moving. But let's just take our time and just um, block this off here. Now he's going a little bit crazy. This king's a little bit too safe in that corner. I, I can't see a pattern per se. And we're going to have to move the king up out way if we're going to get this pawn up. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see that one a mile off, can't I, really? So we go up, he's going to want sights of this you see, so his rook's going to come here so that he can do that, then the, okay well maybe we can go there but he's got checks on the king, hmm, anyway let's do that. That's the type of position he's look, going to be looking for, or she. believe that my time is lower than theirs they even went off as well so the idea is we're going to try and get this pumped up here and see how far it can get kind of gives them something to think about and he's still coming down is he looking to touch the king maybe no maybe not I don't know king takes if the rook comes here Gonna have to move out way. Uh, tempo, tempo, tempo. Yeah, either way, either the bishop or whatever is attacking. So let's just push. See, they've left the game again. Damn, the magical juice thing must be running out. So we could take, but then he comes and puts a check on. We can go here. Maybe stops the bishop from going there, but I suppose he can catch up there. I'm going to take with the pawn. So, ooh, what's this magical thing now? It's coming around the back somehow. I don't know how, but let's push. Oh, it's coming for the pawn. Magical juice is working for them. Let's push. Push. So he's going to be messing about with checks. He's not doing that. Ah, ba -ba 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 -ba. Has he landed on anything? No. Uh, if the king was a bit further down, get, get a check on and then get the queen. Maybe I'm going to have to bring the bishop here, but then he puts a check on, I'm hiding away. Push the pawn. Actually, he's going to get his king over in time, isn't he? Let me see, let me see. I'm gonna have to speed up a bit here. King up.
So if we come here, making it look like we're attacking the bishop, then we can obviously then push here. So look like we're attacking the bishop. King's probably going to let the bishop go because he don't want a queen. Let's take the bishop. That was an interesting arena. Okay, and um, that's a nice little experience of free games there. So, yeah, good. We'll call that a day.